Well, the Florida Department of Corrections is moving ahead with plans to change from 12-hour shifts to 8-and-a-half-hour shifts in at least a third of the state's prisons. The move is opposed by the union representing officers, but in an exclusive interview, the new secretary tells reporter Mike Vasalinda he's banking his department's future on this change. Faced with the staffing crisis just over seven years ago, state prisons moved to 12-hour shifts with rotating days off. But instead of solving the problem, 3,000 of the 13,000 positions used to guard inmates are vacant. Correction Secretary Mark Inch calls it a downward spiral. You know, as the vacancies increase, then you have to rely more on the overtime. But as you rely more on overtime, then your vacancies increase. Officers now working 12-hour shifts can be ordered to work four hours of overtime. Before the 12-hour shifts, the department spent $6 million a year on overtime. Last year, it was $70 million. It is part of the reason the system has seen an uptick in staff on inmate violence. Fatigue affects behavior, of course. But the union representing the officers opposes the change to shorter shifts. Every once in a while they get a weekend off where when they go to the eight-hour shift, that's not going to happen. So that's a big concern to the officers. Recruits receive a full-time salary as they attend the 12-week course. Union aside, the secretary says the agency is going forward with the pilot. I'm not going to convince them all, but we are going to bring in a whole new generation of correction officers because this is what it's about is being able to bring in new and retain a new generation of corrections professionals. Under the plan, a third of the prisons would move to eight-hour shifts next summer. The conversion of the rest of the department will be based on how the pilot works and lawmakers providing the funding for more hires. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Part of the plan also calls for $1,500 bonuses after two years on the job and $2,500 more after five years.